So what uh, what are you looking forward to Rio outside of this, uh, the running and the racing? Do you have any anything about Rio that interests you? Yeah, I'd like to like sightsee some beaches, Christ the Redeemer, do the regular touristy stuff. I mean, we don't get a lot of time to do touristy stuff when we're on the circuit. It's mainly just travel, rest, and race, and go back home. So we'll find some time. We're actually doing a pre-camp, um, and we used to four, so about three hours up the mountain from Brazil. So I'm sure that will be um, a good time to have to sightsee. Is the 800 early in the program? No, it's at the very end. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to just get down there to climatize and then come back here. So you'll come into town just before the 800? Yeah, but we're going to fly down next week, the next Friday. Right. right. Do you have any uh, pre-race rituals that are sort of... Uh, no, 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 nothing quirky, nothing like, you know, lucky socks or anything like that. Just a very low-key warm-up. Um, I don't do anything quirky. My coach is very superstitious, though. He will, he's known to wear the same clothes or stand in the same spot in the stadium. He did that at Worlds last year in Beijing. Worked out pretty well. It did. Yeah. I can't yeah. blame him for it. It's been the secret of your emergence the last couple of years. My coach, Dennis Farrell, he's been, uh, he's such a brilliant man. I mean, he's been working together for a really long time now. And I think it's just a... It's been the mesh between Mahoney, both of our talents, his, up there as well. his coaching skills and my, my drive and that we've really seen. We've had a lot of really good years training and everything like that. And we ended with him over a decade now, so I think it's just that, that, that pair up between us and coaches. Burnham, Cabral, Bayer, Cabernet really behind the pace center. Well, you seem to have gotten better every year. Yeah. And this year you're doing even better than last year. Yep, that's the plan. Um, yeah, I don't know. Did they, did they ask you about the Semenya situation? I missed that at the beginning. What? Semenya. I mean, the events sort of really changed this year, sort yeah. of. Did they ask you about that? I wasn't sure if they did. We have yeah, not. Yeah, so how do you feel about Castro competing and all of that? I mean, without the change in the, you know, the limiting testosterone levels, you'd probably be the number one seed going in right now. Instead, you're, what, four? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so do you, I mean, do you have any thoughts on that, or do you just... You know what, when I'm on that track, I'm not worried about who's on, that, on the track. I'm in my lane, focusing on what I can do and what I can control. I I, I really can't control anything outside of myself, so um, with all the scenarios going on, um, you kind of just have to ignore it, because I have the brain space right now to take it on, I'm so focused on what I want to do. Hey, do you th does it make you adjust sort of the times you think you might have to run? Or do you think I, do you think you can run a 155? For sure. Why, why not? I mean, uh, you, we train to be the best that we can, and I don't want to set limits on myself. I don't think that's fair to myself or to my coach who's putting in such hard, hard work, too. Um, I think the sky is the limit at this point. Why not? Yeah, and you, you know, they're making a big deal here that the Americans can stay in America and compete at this meet, and you've already set you know Canadian record in Canada. I think it's very similar to what, what I did in, in Canada. It's, it's just a testament to the talent we have in North America, and that we don't need to go overseas to get high quality races. I mean, this is on our home soil. I'm going to call North America our home soil, right? Um, it's, and it's nice for the fans to see what kind of talent we have. We don't show up once every four years. This is our life day in and day out. Every summer we come out and compete really hard. Um, and it's just a chance for the fans to get awards soon. We have to offer. You've reached this level, and obviously it's a comment you've gotten better and better. Looking back, what advice would you give to yourself when you were younger? What, what mistakes, if any, did you make? I wouldn't say the mistakes. I've learned from everything that has happened, but particularly... When I was really injured last year, I suffered two really serious injuries. I had never been injured before in my career. And I think it's just trusting the process. And at the time, I didn't know that it was meant that, that it was supposed to be. Uh, my body needed the break. The timeline couldn't allow it. And I just really had to put trust in 
Yeah, but anyway, the work that Dennis and I had done nine years prior to that, because that's really what brought me through last year. My advice is to take all the highs and lows that come, and all of them, the lows are people see it in the moment, but when you can look back on it, you know that it was a huge learning experience, and nine times out of ten, I feel the better. So you have the same coach nine years? Yeah, since the beginning of college. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. It's going well. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, well, that's, that's for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've never seen you by Nike, posters, and t-shirts. I think it's really cool. It's, um, I'm really uh, grateful to be with a company that supports me wholeheartedly. And, I mean, I know that Nike believes in me, and I believe in Nike. And, uh, so I'm really lucky that I can... I can be on a billboard for them along with many other talented athletes, but it's really an opportunity that I didn't know existed when I signed with them. This is kind of a good feeling with what I knew would happen, but I, I love it. It's, it's, it's so much fun to work with these people. How do you feel about today's race? So it was good. It was just another one for the books. I mean, a lot of things learned, and we have some time just to rest before we go into Rio now. I'm really get geared up to go again. Are you undefeated this year? Uh, good question. I, uh, I think so. I can't really remember the earlier races right now. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of blank. <laughs> the last well, few races, yes. Yeah, all right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Any other sports? Yeah. Oh, um, I think it's going to be the Olympics. I'm always going for swimming. Yeah. I'd like to see the beach volleyball. Um, I'm just going to fall off. And I think, uh, if I can get out of the stadium, so I'm going to stick my breath at this point. We won't get to see much at the end of the week. Thanks, guys.